Okay, so this is a, uh, a video of several parts uh, of converting my, uh, my laptop, which is what you see on the screen, which is a HP EliteBook 840G3 that we picked up on eBay. Um, it's a 14-inch uh, screen. Uh, Basically, it looks and acts right now like it was a MacBook Pro. I think a MacBook Pro is a little bit bigger than a 15. But we picked this up for like 100 bucks, um, and they're going for between 100 and 150, depending on the configuration on eBay, depending on how good a shape they're in. This one was in really good shape. It came with uh, eight gigs of RAM. It came with power supply. Uh, the battery does work. It's, it needs to be replaced at some point. Um, it came with a 256 gigabyte uh, NVMe drive, which we took out. But uh, this is what the computer looks like. This is not my computer. This is pictures of it online. And uh, yeah, so this is the uh, the specs. Oh, I don't care about what I think. Uh, the specs, uh, storage drive, uh, has a 2.8 gigahertz dual core processor, i7, now, you don't want to do i5s, so I don't like i5s, uh, i7 with pro technology capable, uh, sorry that's my dog, uh, it's integrated graphics which is really good because you don't deal with having to, uh, get a uh, non-compatible driver working for say an nvidia problem kind of situation um so let's take a look let's close this so here is uh the uh, about it uh here's the hardware model name look it's macbook pro uh dual core intel core i7 2.81 gigahertz uh I got 16 gigs of RAM in here. We added another 8 gigs from the original 8. Uh, it will take 32. Uh, this, the audio is courtesy of a uh, text called Voodoo HDA, which took me a long time to figure that out. Uh, it's also got a plug-in called Black Hole, uh, which is what it's allowing me to record the uh, audio through my... Uh, built-in microphone while I'm recording the screen, which is kind of a tricky thing. Uh, the Bluetooth is the only thing I was not able to get to work natively. I had to add in a, uh, uh, a dongle that was in my, uh, my uh, Hackintosh in my bedroom, my uh, tower that I really wasn't using. Uh, it's The camera works. There are card readers in this computer. They do not work for me. Uh, there's no disk burning, there's no fire channel, there's no fire wire. The graphics are the uh, built-in uh, 1920 by 1080, which is fine. Uh, here so you get the two 8 gigabyte RAM chips. There's my NVMe Express. Uh, it's a FKWOTI. Uh, reason why we got this is that it, uh, it's quite fast. As far as like launching applications, they launch pretty quickly. Uh, Wi-Fi works. In case in point, there is my printer, which is hooked up via Wi-Fi. Uh, the SATA Express. There's my one terabyte SSD. Uh, with that's the reason why we liked this computer for making it into a Hackintosh, is it has the ability to have two. Uh, we used to call them hard drives, and now they're storage devices. So there's two storage devices. Uh, and there's my USB info. Uh, it's running Catalina. Uh, there's my speed test. As you can see, I'm getting over 400 out of 500 in the other room. So that's pretty good for this little Wi-Fi card inside of here. And 260, 280 up out of 500 up. So the Wi Fi works just fine. Uh, here's we got our sound. Uh, so we've got the speaker. 
Um, I've got you can either come out of the uh, built-in speaker or out of the headphone output or there's an HDMI if you, if you I guess if you use the uh, there's not an HDMI output there's a, a standard uh, video output and VGA um, I've added a thing called black hole which is very helpful which is the reason why I'm able to record the audio while I'm talking to you guys right now uh, on the input there's again the microphone, which as you can see, I'm talking and it's registering that I'm talking. And uh, computer audio input, whatever that means. Um, uh, let's see what else. Standard uh, mouse. I've got an Apple mouse. The network, you'll see that it's got Wi Fi. Uh, Standard stuff. Um, I was having a little bit of problems with it, not remembering things, like it would forget my uh, my Apple ID. So I changed out the um, the uh, BIOS battery when I had it open to add in the SSD and added in the uh, the uh, Wi-Fi card. So now it works fine. Uh, there's a, a add-on to the system preferences. For this voodoo thing, I don't. I'm not touching any of this stuff. Uh, I'm leaving it alone. Um, but it's kind of cool. It adds in a uh, an interface for the audio. And uh, I haven't tried Siri. I guess Siri might work. Uh, trying to see if anything else. Uh, I've got uh, Time Machine working. Where's my Bluetooth? Uh, my Wi-Fi. Um, I also have added in the uh, inf the text files to operate the uh, battery to monitor the battery. So right now it's plugged in, but if I unplug it, um, you'll see it go right here that it goes to it's running off the battery. Uh, I don't. I think this would run off the battery maybe for like half an hour. So if I wanted to take it somewhere and run it off the battery, I might have to buy a new battery which is like like 20 bucks um, let's see anything else I've got my audio here that's right now it's running off the black hole because I'm recording so that's pretty much it so we're, uh, the first thing we're gonna run is the um, uh, taking the thing apart and taking the back off of it and uh, switching out the uh, NVMe drive and uh, uh, adding in the uh, eight gigabytes of RAM. And then uh, we're gonna seal it back up and I'm gonna install uh, Catalina on it uh, and go through the machinations. I did have some frustrations, uh, mostly involving, well, mostly involving trying to get past Catalina. It just wouldn't work. Uh, uh, so in the uh, the last video I'm going to do, which I'm going to shoot at, record after this, is uh, what I did to get the uh, the uh, audio to work. So let me go into that after I do this. But that's the last video that the last part of the video is going to be me fixing the audio. Four so. dollars. Okay, now the center screw. What I what I really like about these uh, laptops is that they have uh, the that what is it two and a two and a quarter inch or two and a half inch SSD slot and an NVMe slot. Right. So this this computer came with a two hundred fifty six SSD with Windows eleven on it. And we're going to leave that in there. We're going to try to make this into a dual boot laptop. Oh yeah, you need that one with the flat. Yeah, you got to kind of get underneath something here. Yeah, those are what those things are talking about the clips. I'm going to knock this over. Let me put this somewhere. Out. 
Yeah, we need we needed that um, that guitar pick type thing. You want a guitar pick? It's right next to you. Where? Right there. Okay. Helps being a musician sometimes. They have a special pry tool for this. The guitar pick is a little thin. Yeah, they have a, a tool with like a like a looks like a bottle opener kind of a thing. No, it, it's this. This is something that looks just like this. Oh, okay, but it's just a little bit thicker. There we go. We uh, did check the computer before we opened it up and everything runs fine with Windows 11, so. Clips are a bit tricky. That's probably the cover for one of the SD card things. Yeah. This is a relatively new computer because it's got a USB C in it. See, now if you look very closely, this is why I say you got to also. Uh, while you're going, check. There's also a screw right there. Oh, okay. So you gotta take remove that screw. Yeah. So um, some people would have been struggling with that, thinking that they're gonna um, get that cover off. And messed up something there. So this, this one was able to, um, this, the little screwdriver was able to get this one out, but if you have a good screwdriver and this, you'll notice that this is a different size screw. So have to remember, keep that in mind. Yeah, it's longer and narrower. Mm -hmm. So now you see it comes off. <coughs> so, so what we're adding here is there actually an NVMe drive in there already? Yeah, that's what's in there. Oh, that's what's got the Windows 11 on it. Yeah. It's the NVMe drive. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. So it doesn't have an SSD in it right now, right? No, no. Did you order, did you order an SSD, no? No, I ordered an NVMe. So okay. we're just gonna, we're gonna put, we're gonna replace the NVMe. And it just won't, have the uh, windows we'll just have the NVMe. eventually i'll get another ssd so that's what they put in this thing huh that's why that's why i told you it came up pretty fast came up real fast yeah this was a pretty good deal we got this computer for a hundred dollars and that included the uh, power supply and everything we said to pay tax and shipping so uh this, now explain uh, the difference between this and this NVMe. What do you mean? It's faster. Oh yeah, well you just have to check the specs when you're buying them. 
Yeah, I'm going to put a link little... in the description on where I where I got this. We got this on Amazon. This is a one terabyte, and it's what twenty seven hundred speed. Uh, well, I forget just, what this. Yeah, give them the link and let them go and see. Yeah, because the transfer rate on this NVMe is very fast. And and I suggest also reading the um, the reviews. That's what makes Amazon worthwhile is because you can read reviews of people's experience. So where does the SSD go in this? SSD goes right over here. Oh, okay. That's the connector. You just okay. slide it in. Right. Because eventually I might even just put a two terabyte SSD in here. So this is not going to be a dual boot machine. It's going to be an OS 10 only for the time being. Okay. The other thing we bought for it is an eight gigabytes of RAM. To make it 16. To make it 16. You can actually bring these up to 32 gigs. Yeah, that's what uh, I was gonna say, yeah. You can bring them up to 32. But with a with a with an SSD, not even with an NVMe that's that fast, I don't see really why you would need 32 gigs of RAM. That's it. That's Make sure it. that memory is, you know, kind of wiggle it in and back and snap forth it a little, get it in nice and set, set it, um, seated properly in there, and then just snap it down. It pops in, and that's it. Now, if you were going to go a little further. Um, not knowing how long the uh, the processor has been uh, with whatever thermal paste is on it, you might want to take that off, but that's going to involve a little more work. And then again, we're probably going to have to replace the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Wi-Fi is right here. I'm not sure what the Bluetooth is, but I also, they're all on the same. It's all on the same all card. On the same card. Okay, so that's the card right there, and right here is your CMOS battery. I purchased a uh, <coughs> a um, a G uh, a eight twenty G three, and this battery was on the other side of this motherboard. I literally had to take the motherboard off to get to that battery motherboard keyboard the whole deal. Real pain in the you know what? Oh, it was it was definitely well. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, you know. So, but we know now that this this is the model to get. Yeah. The 14 inch, the 840 G3. And again, they're like $100 and we're well, putting in. You're going to get it for between Well, we got lucky we uh, found yeah. one for 100 bucks. So, they're yeah. generally going for about 130 depending on the configuration. Um, we could have left this alone uh, with the 8 gigs of RAM and the. And I didn't know it had an MVME and not an SSD. Um, we thought I had an SSD, we were gonna add the NVMe. Yeah, so this is your battery for anybody who is curious. This is the battery. But this is still a good 256, you know, yeah. we could sell this for yeah. $20 or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay, so we're, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the case back on. Okay. So here's this, I'm gonna give you that first screw Again, the reason that I um, set the orientation on the way I take this apart is with the hinges on top. So when you go back to put the cover on, hinges, hinge cutouts are on top, makes it really simple. And you just lay it back down in there and it just goes right back into place. Very, very simple. Yeah, it's much easier to put back together than it is taking it apart. So I'm gonna give you that first screw that's different. Mm. You think it'll fit that screwdriver? I'm gonna find out. Yep.
when you do this kind of stuff, you have to really have a lot of different kinds of screwdrivers. Yeah, have to have a lot of screwdrivers. Yeah, and you have to have your head screwed on right. Yeah, well, that's my that's your job. My head's always <laughs> my head screwed on backwards. And I put that in the wrong place, so even I have to have my head screwed on right too. So it just takes a little patience. I mean, the thing is, is if you're in a rush, you're going to get put yourself in trouble. Yeah, he's the hardware guy. I'm more, I'm more the software guy. So yeah, just uh, what I recommend, just take your time. You know, the world's not going to end if it takes you a little bit longer. You'll get a chance to do whatever you got, whatever you plan on doing with the computer. Uh, it's also a good idea to have a little storage thing for the screws. I have the magnetic cup from uh, oh, Harbor yeah, Freight. Yeah. Yeah, Harbor Freight has some nice little accessories for that. Again, don't tighten these screws up too tight. I mean, take them down, but don't don't tighten them to where you strip the. Yeah, it's just enough to hold the thing together. You're not trying to. Yeah. You're not trying to be Hercules with your screwdriver. Yeah, when I when I saw that I had to go inside of the um, take that motherboard off of my uh, 820 G G2 or G3, I said I let it go for a day, and then I I thought about it, and I said, you know, gotta do it. Well, I have I've never really done it before because you know we usually work with desktops, but. I thought about it and I said, when I looked at the video, the YouTube video, I said, I think I could do this, you know? Just take your time and do it. Be very careful, because you know, when you go in that deep, I had to, I had to take the, um, I had to take the keyboard off as well. There are two screws, there are two screws, right, one right here and one right, right here. When you loosen those screws, go back in the front, and you have to hit some clips and pop off the keyboard, then turn it back over. Yeah, that's when it gets kind of hairy. I have one now that I found at a thrift shop. Um, I'm looking to, I'm trying to figure out exactly why it's not. It powered up nicely and everything when I when I bought it initially, and then... All of a sudden, it wouldn't charge with the power supply. And then the battery went dead, so I'm dead in the water with that one. This might, might have been why I ended up at the, at the thrift shop initially. That could be. <laughs> that could be. I put an SSD in it and everything. So what is the key to hold down to tell it to what start what uh, hard drive to start from? Do you know? It's going to be like F10, F2, F10, one of those. When I don't know, I either look it up online or I'll just um, I'll do like a multi key <laughs> when I start. It's, it. Sometimes it's just the delete key, but well, it's usually F2, F10. F12. F12. I thought I was uh, working with one where it said F9 for something. I do have a uh, page that I found on the internet of a guy who did uh, the uh, OS 10 to this computer, and he's got a uh, list of all the different settings to go into in the BIOS. And I'll put a link to that page um, in the description.
There is another video of a guy showing that he's gotten OS 10 to run on one of these, but he didn't go through the process of how he did it. He just was just showing off, which is like, well, what, what good is that? <laughs> Is it going in? Yeah. That's why you have to take time with these things. There's no more left in here. And one more left to go. Right You're missing one? No, I have one left to go right here. Okay, so uh, I was trying to install Big Sur on this computer and uh, it would not boot. So uh, I went back and reburned my 16 gigabyte SSD, uh, what do you call it? SD card thingy. Uh, I burned my USB stick, that's what we call it, uh, and put. Uh, Uh, Catalina back on it. So I'm starting the computer hitting F9, which gives me into the boot menu. Um, I'm starting up the UEFI scan disk. And uh, as you can see, boots right into the install for uh, Catalina. So let's see how this works. I also tried Mojave and Mojave worked. So, um, but we don't want to go back to Mojave. Mojave is outdated. And my other computers are running Mojave and Catalina, so I'm fine with Catalina. Okay, for some reason, my mouse that's plugged into this USB, let's see, the mouse isn't working. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we have to use the trackpad. Uh, language is English. And uh, we are going to, let's, let's, go, let's go to US uh, Utilities. Utilities, startup, security. Oh, let's see. Oh, here we go. Yeah, disk utility. So, we have our one terabyte drive, and we're going to erase it, and we are going to put on AFPS. APFS, because we're putting Catalina and hit erase. There we go. We have we have formatted the drive, and then we're going to quit disk utility. And we are now going to install Mac OS. And we're going to install Catalina. And we agree. And we agree again. And we're going to put it on the untitled 
uh, one terabyte drive and now we are installing so i'm going to stop recording because this takes a while and watch some netflix and then i'll come back so uh it was installing and then it shut down uh i restarted it and it's uh continuing the install um but it i it said to start up off the already installed uh operating system which i did and it's got about 10 minutes more uh but I, it's it's working its way through so when i come back i'll have the uh the uh my iphone connected back to my um uh, tripod and we'll continue on with the install of Catalina. Well, we're coming at the end here. And lights, camera, action. About a minute remaining. I don't know why I don't have a mouse. Uh, hopefully that's not a bad USB uh, on the left. I'm planning on using the mouse without the USB dongle anyway. to me the time of meeting is whatever we're getting there uh, let's see what we got here okay I'm going to have to go into the BIOS at some point and um, see the light. And set it up to start off the uh, okay, UEFI Mac OS X. Uh, let's see if it'll start off of that. Continue boot. Okay, boot Mac OS from Untitled. Okay, we are not in Afghanistan. We are in the United States. And I'm looking for, by the way, we are now in OS 10. So, and dictation, everything is English. Uh, I don't think I have uh, Wi-Fi in this. I think we're going to have to replace the Wi-Fi Ether uh, Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth card. Yes, I am not on the internet. Okay, it's going to transfer any information, terms and conditions. I have 
the terms and conditions. Um, Customize settings. I don't want location services. Don't use. Select my time zone. I'll just select Cupertino for now. I'm not going to share my Mac analytics. And screen time. I'm not going to enable Ask Siri for now. And I'm going to stay with the light. Uh, your keyboard cannot be identified. So uh, let's see, shift. Key next to the shift. Oh, here we go. I don't have anything next to the shift. Okay. So here we go. We have OS 10. Now we're going to go to about this Mac. And it's got a Catalina, but we really want to see the system report, and I don't think we have white Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Okay, audio. There's no audio. Bluetooth. Oh, we got Bluetooth. That's good. Camera. Sees the camera. Doesn't see the card readers. Uh, Ethernet. Sees the Ethernet. There is no Firewire. Sees the Intel HD graphics. This is not a machine you want to play uh, uh, games on. Memory. Two 8 gigabytes. NVM Express. There's our one terabyte. Uh, let's see. Where's our Wi-Fi? USB, Bluetooth HD, Bluetooth, let's see, USB bus, HP HD camera, Bluetooth HD. I don't know why I don't have this mouse working. Okay, let's go to the settings. That's all pretty good. Uh, network. does not see the Wi-Fi, even though it says the Wi-Fi is there. Let's go to Bluetooth. I don't think I have Bluetooth. Oh, here we go. Bluetooth. It says the Bluetooth is on. I'm trying to get this. to get the mouse to work. I don't know if the mouse is going to work. I don't really know if the Bluetooth is working at all. Um, show Bluetooth in menu bar. Uh, Bluetooth preferences are there. I do not have Wi-Fi. Bluetooth. Firewire. There's no disk burning. It says it sees the camera. 
no audio. Bluetooth pan, Ethernet. Yeah, it doesn't see the Wi Fi. And I don't think the Bluetooth is working. Although I'll try it with something else other than this mouse. Uh, but we do have an operating Mac. Um, don't have any internet. I don't think I have any Bluetooth. But hey! Rock and roll each school. Let's go in and um, uh, dock. We're going to do the magnification and size. And, and then we're going to do uh, automatically hide and show the dock. That's good. And, uh, let's see. I got to do a bunch of stuff. Uh, that's in here. Uh, let's see. No. Run me. Run me. Oh, gotta go into the up. Oh, gotta go into the uh, da, 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 security and privacy. And we're not going to have to require a password after five minutes. One, two, three, four. Turn off screen lock. Unlock this. One, two, three, four. App Store, open anyway, open, Basically, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the camera off. Uh, and this is boring. This is basically what I'm doing is I'm running the stuff that comes with Olorila. Like power management fix uh, and so forth. I don't know what that does. Okay. It's just operating and doing its thing right now. Okay. I know I'm not on the internet. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna run a few of these things. Um, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to order that Wi-Fi uh, Bluetooth card because I do not have Do not have Wi-Fi. So, but I knew that was going to happen. So, um, for now, I'm what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a copy of uh, Clover, and um, I'm going to take the EFI partition that's currently on the USB and uh, put that information into the. Uh, into the EFI partition that's on the computer, so I don't need to use the uh, the 
USB drive to start the computer. And then I'm going to go back into the BIOS uh, and tell it to start off the, uh, the uh, hard drive when it starts up. And I'll do that later. It's, uh, oh, the time is wrong. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I'm getting tired. Uh, but uh, we're getting close. Okay, so I've been working away on this uh, uh, Hacken and Tosh install on my uh, Elite book, and uh, I tried in vain to get uh, past uh, Catalina on this. Uh, I wasn't. I po posted on the Hackintosh forums and Facebook, and nobody helped me. Uh, they might help me because I have a little bit more information on my problem, but um, I just wanted to get this computer stable, so. I've decided to just stick to Catalina for the time being. Um, and there was a couple of problems I'm dealing with. One was the battery indicator, which I just solved. And the other one is the sound, which I am still working on. So uh, I did a search online in YouTube and found this Haitian guy had this really complicated fix uh, involving like uh, hidden files and DSDTs and so forth. Um, and I just didn't want to, I wanted to find an alternate fix from, I just, I, I don't want to deal with having to deal with hidden files. So uh, I found a, a, another uh, uh, one that was made by somebody who doesn't speak English. He did it with uh, typing in the text in it. But he said you have to drop in um, these text folders here these texts into the uh, folder. So uh, these are the ones that I've better, better dropped into the computer that are other than the ones that uh, were there when I installed it off the um, USB drive. Uh, two of them you'll see are called Virtual SMC and SMC Battery Manager. And it said I had to get those two. So I uh, downloaded either one or the other ones and down and threw those in the, the Kex folder and the computer wouldn't start. So I uh, started again off my USB stick and uh, threw out the, uh, I copied, uh, AC, Apple AC, and Lilu, and these real tech, uh, and my whatever green, copied those into a folder called New Texts. And then I threw out the uh, SMC battery and virtual SMC um, off of there, and uh, went and I downloaded a new copy of virtual SMC, which is a folder that, that contains several texts, including uh, virtual SMC and its matching partner of the SMC battery manager. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, but they have the same build date of June 12th of last year. And this is the beginning of 2024. Uh, and I threw those in to my, uh, uh, my uh, EF5 partition on the computer and I restarted and the computer restarted. I had a little bit of working uh, with the battery indicator, but it would uh, it was showing 0% and it wouldn't show up on the screen up above. So I did a search and I ran into a Reddit uh, suggestion to download EC Enabler. So I downloaded that and that's, a, that's also a June 12, 2023 build. And through that in, and restarted and voila I now have uh, as you can see it's right up here it shows that my battery is plugged into the power supply so if I unplug it it no longer shows that it's plugged in and it shows I gotta go with my power it shows that it's uh, running off the battery now let's go in where's and system preferences and we're going to go to energy saver 
and it shows that current battery charge is 97% and it's allowed me to show the battery status in the menu bar. So if I go back in and plug in my charger, it'll now say uh, batteries charged and it's, it shows that it's plugged in up here. So we're working our way through. Now, what I think I'm going to do, look for um, as far as the uh, sound, sound is usually fixed by putting Apple ALC and Lilo, Lilo um, in and restarting. But my Apple ALC is date is December 11th and my Lilo is August 7th. And there's no Lilo uh, created uh, on December 11th. So I'm going to look for an Apple ALC that was created on uh, August 7th. And if that is true, then I'm going to replace the older one uh, with the current one and restart. And that might fix my sound because everything has to match up when you've got texts. Everything has to be the same build date or it's all screws up. So that's my next goal. Once I have that, um, the EFI file, EFI partition will be finished. And I'm going to zip that and I'm going to put that on my one of my Google Drive accounts uh, and set it up in its own folder so that you can go and download it without having to bother me about it. And then uh, you could, uh, after you get your system going and run all the stuff in the older Rela package that you need to do, um, then you could replace the EFI partition that I'm providing you with from drop that into your EFI and you should be able to have uh, your battery and your sound working. Okay, so we're back working on the um, Hackintosh laptop. Uh, I've already removed the um, the back. You've already seen the back getting removed. Um, I removed the um, battery, the CMOS battery, because uh, the CMOS battery was giving me all kinds of problems. Uh, it was forgetting what time it was, and um, and it would forget the. Uh, the uh, time so I'm going to um, install the battery and then I've got my new Wi-Fi Bluetooth card and uh, that's this I'm not gonna film myself um, putting these in because uh, it's very very tricky and I'm going to have to use uh, a lot of magnification and stuff. And, and uh, I don't want to have uh, any uh, issues with it. So I'll come back after I've done it and I'll just give you, I'll just add in some notes um, about what I did. Uh, so, uh, ah. so anyway. This is going to give me Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This is going to give me uh, uh, stability in the CMOS. Um, also, I'm going to have to reset the um, the BIOS and go back through the um, settings in the BIOS, and I'll go through that um, a film or recording on video. I always say film, but there's no film. Uh, so anyway, that's where we are. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the uh, recording and put these things in and I'll come back. Okay, I've, I've uh, accomplished installing the CMOS battery. That was pretty easy. Um, I've got this thing pretty much uh, uh, magnified up. Uh, you just sort of slip the battery in there and then attach the, um, the connector. Now, this was really hard to put in. Um, I had to use my uh, 
my uh, magnifying glasses and I've got several uh, different, um, I'm missing one, one of them got lost, uh, magnification settings. And I found the one that I could get really up close so I could basically see what you're seeing now. Um, I attached the first lead, which was number two, which is on top, and then uh, had problems trying to attach number one, and then I set it in place and tried to attach the number one lead, which is the antenna, and had no luck whatsoever. Um, so I took it back out and then the number two lead disconnected. The tricky part, what you gotta do is you gotta take this thing let me zoom back out. You gotta take this out and you sort of have, I'm holding the foam in my hand so I can't do it, but basically you have to rotate like this um, and push the antenna down in a circular motion to get it to sort of uh, connect. If you're pushing straight down on it, it's not going to connect. It's just going to just sit there and laugh at you. So, um, and of course, while you're connecting this one, this one gets undone. So it's a little tricky, but you can't put it down and then attach the uh, antenna leads. You have to attach the ten antenna leads while it's loose. And you just sort of have to manipulate both until it sort of like, you know, sort of circularizes the connection in, if that makes any sense. So, um, and then installing this uh, is, and I'm not gonna pull it back out, it's already in position. But installing this, you just sort of slide it in. I'm, I've already formatted the uh, SSD, and I've, um, I'm gonna use this computer in the beginning just to go through all the uh, the video that I've shot for YouTube, I've got 300 gigs of video. Um, that's in somewhat, some of it's in somewhat haphazard uh, form. I have to go through and categorize everything. So that's what I'm gonna do in the, uh, initially with this computer. Uh, as of now, I still haven't gotten the audio to work. Uh, it, I did work once. Uh, and then it stopped working and the Wi-Fi stopped working. No, not the Wi-Fi. The Ethernet stopped working. Um, so I reformatted it and I redid the computer again. Uh, and I didn't install Logic. Because even when the audio was working, it wasn't working with Logic. And I thought, why use up all that uh, hard drive space for Logic when I've already got it on two other computers? So this computer does not have logic. It's got all the other software that I need, but not logic. So what I'm gonna do now off camera is I'm going to put the uh, case cover, the back, back on and uh, turn it on and go through the uh, CMOS settings. Okay, so the back is obviously back on. The computer started. Um, I haven't checked the Wi-Fi or anything yet. I'm gonna go into the BIOS. So um, I have my settings printed out and that's on the page that I will be, uh, if this is accessible on the page that I'm going to uh, have in the uh, notes below. So I'm gonna go into boot options and the only thing it wants me to check is USB storage checked. Let's see, fast boot, CD ROM boot unchecked, USB storage boot checked. Okay, and then prompt on battery errors checked. Okay, that means this. Okay. Uh, prompt all these five except for um, one of them is unchecked. Num lock at, at boot unchecked. Right, and that's unchecked. And then there's a UEFI, UEFI boot order. 
that's disabled. So that's okay. And we're gonna go to secure boot configuration and configure legacies. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's nothing to check on there. Uh, system options, uh, turbo boost. Well, I can't even access that. Uh, the processor was checked. Hyper threading is checked. Uh, okay, everything else is unchecked. So far, I haven't had to, t to do anything. Uh, Built-in device options. Embedded LAN controller is checked. Right, it's up here. Wake on LAN is disabled. Right, video memory size is 64. Audio device, device is checked. Integrated microphone is checked. Internal speakers are checked. Headphone output, which is not listed here, is also checked. Uh, lock wireless button unchecked. That's unchecked. Wireless, let's see, wireless LAN and Bluetooth are both checked. Uh, LAN. Uh, LAN auto switching is disabled, which means unchecked. Uh, the only two are checked are the integrated camera and the NFC. Fan always on while AC power unchecked. That's un it's unchecked. Backlit keyboard turn out time 10 seconds. Okay, it wants me to put back backlit keyboard. I'm going to leave it at 15. Um, integrated camera. Okay. Let's go back. Uh, boot power management options. Uh, runtime power management checked. Extend idle power status checked. And deep sleep is checked. Uh, Wake when lid is open is checked. Everything else is unchecked. So basically, out of the box, um, there's nothing to be changed. Uh, let's see, UEFI drivers, uh, security. I am not going to create a power um, password. Let's see. Change date and time. Let's look at what the date and time is. Yes, the date is wrong. Uh, it is not 2015. So I gotta change that, which is, I, I usually look at my phone to find out what time it is, but I don't have my phone. So uh, this is one. First month. Okay, okay let's. Okay, so today is the eleventh, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it's the eleventh. I'll check. And this is 2024. So 111-2024. Enter apply changes. And set the time. I do not know what that means. I'm not a military. I can change the time later. I don't know.
boot option. I don't know where the uh, startup menu. Yes. Uh, save. Yes. And then we're going to exit out of here. Save changes. Yes. Uh, it's going to turn on. I need to hit F9. And we want to start it off the the FICWAT, which is my NVMe. I'm running it off the battery too. It's not plugged in. Okay, wow, this battery does not hold a charge for very long. I might have to eventually get another battery. Okay, yeah, I've got Wi-Fi. That's pretty amazing. Okay. We have Wi-Fi. Didn't ask for my password, which is kind of interesting. Okay, I've got Wi-Fi. Uh, let's go into Bluetooth. I'm eventually going to have to get a new battery for this because it's really weak. Uh, sound, no sound. This is the end of the uh, video uh, of working on this uh, Elite book. Uh, there's a couple of things I wanted to go over. Um, one of which was how I fixed the audio. So I, I here I've got my EFI partition open. I opened it with uh, with Clover Configurator. I cannot use Open Core Configurator because this was not done with Open Core. If I try to open it with Open Core Configurator, all I get is errors. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you. Uh, the uh, kext folder and there's the usual suspects in here um, the apple alc and alcu.kext and the lilu and normally those uh, kexts along with maybe some additional work in configurator will get your audio to work it didn't work um, which is kind of sucky uh, the other thing I had to do is I had to add in uh, some S the SMC uh, battery manager, um, etc., to get the uh, so I could monitor my battery um, and so forth. The other thing that I but the main thing I'm talking about right now is the Voodoo HDA. This is what I used to get the audio to work. So let's see how I did that. So, you go to my browser. I typed in Voodoo HDA, and I ended up with Voodoo HDA on South. So, so, I cannot speak. SourceForge. Wow. Voodoo HDA Source. Still can't say it. This, what would you see on screen? <laughs> so, you do the search for that, and you'll end up with Voodoo HDA. Uh, and then you click the download, you download that, it goes in your download folder, it's a zip file, you un unzip the zip file, and you drag that file here, 
uh, into the computer and you restart and you will have audio. If I take this out and then restart, I will not have audio. So I did that. Uh, the other thing I did uh, was, uh, let's see here, black hole. So you have to look up black hole audio. Let's see, that's my computer. Uh, this is the video that I watched uh, of how to set up the recording. Um, I'll put a link to this down below. This is how I set up, find out about the black hole thing. Very helpful. There's my computer. Uh, my computer again. Okay, so a uh, black hole is an add-on for audio that adds a few more things uh, to the computer. And it's not just for Hackintosh, it's for all kinds of Macs. It, it allows you to, do, to control the audio on the computer a little bit more than the standard setup. So the only other thing I'm going to talk to you about is, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, uh, I had to figure out how to do the serial number thing. I haven't done that, but you guys can look that up. Let's go back here. Uh, config plist. Couple of things you need to do uh, with Clover Configurator. Uh, one of them is boot. Uh, if you don't want to see all that text in the beginning when the computer is starting, if you see a minus V, if you go to ACPI and boot, in this window you will see minus V. Uh, if minus V is there, you click on it and click the minus button and it will go away. Why do you want to get rid of that? If you want to get, if you don't, if you're tired of looking at all that geeky text in the beginning, you can get rid of that. Just get rid of the minus V. Also, I changed the timeout from 10 seconds to three. Now, if you're having a problem with computer and you want to uh, see what's going on with all that text in the beginning, you can hit the plus sign and then add minus V and that text will come back. You can also increase the uh, timeout to 10 seconds or something. Uh, also, I have it set up to, the, to, uh, to load the latest booted volume, which means I don't have to sit there and hit F9 and stuff. It goes right to the, uh, the EFI partition on this computer and starts up the uh, computer right away. It, it acts just like a Mac. Um, the other thing that I would uh, bring up, uh, let's see, is SM BIOS. Uh, I, this is where you would change the serial number, but I haven't figured that out yet. I haven't done that yet. Uh, there's a little button here that's got an up and down uh, thing, and this is where you choose uh, what you're trying to emulate as far as the computer. So on this computer, I am emulating an M, a MacBook Pro 15 inch 2010 model, which is pretty close to what I have here, which is a 2.86. Um, I think that's a quad core though. Anyway, that's pretty similar to what's, what's going on here. So the computer thinks it's a MacBook Pro and uh, there's a lot of things you can do in here. Uh, uh, Apple Inc., MacBook Pro, uh, BIOS vendor. Da, 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 da. These are all things that come out of the selection of on here. So uh, that's pretty much um, all I'm gonna go into as far as um, uh, Clover Configurator. Um, so I'm going to now unmount, unmount the partition and uh, close Clover Configurator. And you hit revert. Trash. It's hard to get out of Clover. Let's see. Cancel. Nope. 
Wait. How does it exist? Um, oh, discard. There we go. Okay. And there's our system preferences to shut this off. And that's pretty much it. Uh, remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions. Let me know if you have any suggestions on how to get the Bluetooth working without the dongle. Let me know if you have any information about getting this to run um, on Big Sur uh, or other uh, newer operating systems. Let me know. Catalina is fine for now, but you know Apple is going to be trying to kill it. Uh, they don't like old operating systems that are more than like three years old. Um, the reason why I'm doing this Hackintosh as opposed to getting a real MacBook is Apple just times out their computers, and I just don't believe in that. Um, I don't have any. I only thing I have that own that's that's Apple made is my mouse and the keyboard in the other room and my iPhone. Everything else. Uh, all my other computers uh, are all either running Windows or they're running OS 10 and they're Hackintoshes. So, uh, all hail Hackintosh. At some point, it's going to be a dead thing because uh, everybody's going to want to have uh, computers running uh, Apple Silicon. At some point, I hope Apple starts making uh, computers and they don't put 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabytes of storage and say that's just enough, you're fine. It's not. Uh, if you want to run a computer, you need at least a terabyte of storage and you need 16 gigs of RAM uh, or you're just fooling yourself. Okay, that's my little two cents to Apple because they charge too much money. Okay, thank you for watching, for sticking through the whole thing. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer everything as, I, as it comes in.